And I'm like, bro, that is not a good idea. And next thing I know, I don't see it, but I hear the string come off. I derailed my bow. I tell you, don't do that. That's a good way to derail your bow. <laughs> Are you shooting your face forward too? My face forward's at your house. I wanted to do face forwards today, all right. Drew, I'm pretty rusty. Are you rusty? Let's... I can't even hold my bow up. All right, like we are at Spokane Valley Archery. I haven't shot this course since probably August, maybe July. Mm. It's been a while. And like a full week of just didn't shoot my bow. Kind of a loser. So we're chipping the rust off today, guys. And we're gonna go over our equipment and kind of like we're gonna scheme on our hunt plans for this year as well. So Drew, you guys seen him on the channel before? What's up? He's my buddy who um, is in better shape, shoots better, <laughs> has whiter teeth, and eats more meat than anyone I know on planet Earth. <laughs> is that inaccurate? No. That's pretty true. Uh, Jake the Web, you guys know him. He's usually behind the camera, but we got help today. Clem is, we'll get you a shot of Clem, but he is filming for us. Jake, when's the last time you shot? Your phase four is at my house, so I know you haven't shot it. Oh, I shoot five arrows every day. Do you really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you lied. <laughs> we are about, we're about to find out. When you said a week, I'm like, ooh. I was like, I bet it's a month since okay. I shot my bow. <laughs> so we're gonna be getting the rust off. Yeah. And uh, myself included. So let's just break down these these bows real quick. So this is the phase four, two, nine. I have podium strings on here right now. We got these new bridge locks. This is an eight inch. This is a 10 inch right into the riser. I do like the engaged leg limbs at all times on my rig so I can set the bow down and the, I have not seen anyone else make something like this where your cam stays off the ground except for Matthews. Got the rubber dampening that everyone seems to love to hate or hate to love. I'm not sure what it is but we have four limbs down here and we have taken this apart and checked it out. It's pretty slick. This little piece right here kicks it out. You can decide the angle. I've backed it off my string a little bit. We have the elk shape epsilon. This is the addition that I sell on my website. We have the one piece quiver low pro so I can pull this whole thing off in two seconds. Finally, we got the elk shape side plates. I can't seem to keep these in stock. You guys are awesome. Thank you. God bless you. And then we're running a triple stack. The site I talk so much crap about, but it's got three pins vertical and we're going to test it out today. I got a new sight tape on it. I want to see how it flies. I haven't truly tested third axis, but I really like the sight picture when I have three vertical pins set up at 25, 35, and 45. That should help out with elk hunting. Okay. So this is my V3 x29 this is actually going to be my backup bow for this year these strings i've only put probably five arrows on these strings so these are gas strings I'm trying these out this year fast eddie xl vertical two pin i love that sight picture i got matthews bars on the front and the back and we're running a two-piece quiver and the epsilon from hamski i love hamski but on my phase four i'm actually running the matthews um, specific rest so are oh, you doing a qad yeah it's a qad i, I so. think it's important to try it out so we can like we've i've historically seen qad's kind of have some weakness or failures in the field like we met a guy in wyoming who could have killed a bull but his qad failed him but it's come a long ways and it does seem to fit perfectly like a glove so you'll you'll be our test dummy for that i love the way that it fits i'm a little nervous about longevity i like to load my arrows like cam haynes and what arrows are you shooting today two different arrows both these arrows are vector zmrs out in the front is exactly the same so 125 out front that's an aluminum outsert these are 300 spine the difference is obviously elk shaped veins with no wrap veins from vector four veins with a wrap so they don't even do these veins anymore these are from like q2 or something but these are hybrid hps and it's kind of like a blazer but they're ribbed and I, i'm real i'm really impressed with those i want to see what those do with broadheads that's what i want to hunt with this year yeah so. all right and we will make fun of drew a little bit he, he used to shoot a matthews he bought a brand new matthews four years in a row come to find out he sold every one of them to his entire hunting so i'll let you explain the story because i think you had a plan i got tired of hunting with my buddies that all had well 
we'll back it up a little bit. Bows that you pick up at the general store or whatever, and you're calling in for a buddy, it's an opportunity to kill a nice bull elk, and equipment failures or missed shots for whatever reason, it's like. Like pawn shop bows and yeah, stuff. Why don't I? why don't I sell them my bow every year till everybody has a nice bow, so. That's what you did. So and this year you're gonna run, are you gonna run uh, this again? I don't really know what it's called, I just know the sound it makes when it takes an elk's life. <laughs> okay, okay, very confident. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Bowtech Revolt X80. Well, what? Did it, whoa, whoa, whoa! You got ripped TKOs now? I had these all hunting season, yeah. Okay, so what do you got? Because your arrow's a little heavier than ours. Yeah, these than are the ours. ripped TKO uh, 250s. Okay. And then I just shoot 200s on them. So we got a total arrow weight of like almost exactly 600 grains. Yeah, a little heavier than us. Yeah. You're like what? 480, Katie? 450. Oh, 450, and I'm 443-ish today. I'm running rip, T rip TKOs, man. I don't have an affiliation. I have zero, but I seem, this seems to be one of my favorite arrows, yeah. honestly. I either run these or Black uh, Eagles. Black Eagles? Yeah. X-Impacts or? Rampages. Rampages, five yeah. mils? Yeah. All right, plan today, guys. Get you some arrow shots, talk a little smack, get the rust off and uh, kind of find out how bad we suck. But it is January. By the time you see this video, it might be February, but guys, there is no off season. And uh, get some friends, get a cohort, find yourself an archery range, make your own, and put some arrows in flight. Let's go. I'm gonna be a private land hunter. I wanna get a private land hunter hat. <laughs> me too. Yeah, Jake's like, me too. Send it, are you ready? From this camera? Have you had, like, I've always liked the shifts from Nocturnal. I've tried other ones, like Knockout, uh, Fire Knock. If I were to use one, it would be a Nocturnal. Yeah, what that's what I choose, yeah. Nocturnal. The strobe? Yeah. The, the strobing, yeah. Okay. If, if we're gonna use them for filming though, the strobes suck. Yeah, I would oh, get the really? straight green. Yeah. Jake, Jake won that round for the worst shot. <laughs> Are you gonna do Total Archery Challenge with us this year? Uh, when is it? Which one? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, can we shoot both then? Thank you. Jake, have you ever killed a bear with a bow? Not with a bow. Sweet. Uh, I was just saying, I've never killed a bear before, so I'm excited for this. Yeah, Drew is, Drew's going with us to Canada, eh? We got that YouTube, we got all subscribers meeting up with us that week. Basically, it's an elk shape week. So we got you, Jake, Tim, and then four subscribers that we don't know that are gonna hang out in bear camp. I think we're all shooting double bear, like two bears each, so. Oh, really? Yeah, know that yeah, so Thanks. it's gonna be, it's gonna be a grease, bear grease week, man. So, and you've never killed a bear with a bow. You never no. killed a bear. No. I've I can't believe that. Bear. And then Jake's never killed with a bow. Tim's killed a couple with a bow and a lot with a rifle. So it those are like fun. cubs, though. Those aren't really bears. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> man. <laughs> Hater. I think my release is just about done here. It's not closing. Graphite powder or something. You got some? No. You don't have any on you? No. It's not clicking. So I can do it here. There we go. Let's send it. Higher? I'm good there. I got no issues with, with my T levels. I don't think that's a problem. <laughs> you about ready to move that sight to the I left? I did move it. Does it feel weird? I tell you, don't do that. That's not a good way to, that's a good way to derail your bow. So what just happened? I just derailed it. Well, luckily you're at the archery range. You These, can, yeah, so these, you think you have need to... We, we pulled the mods off of this. Where's your field kit? Bust it out. Yeah, in the field. Go get that. All right, go make the shot. Foam is home. Left. Go left. I remember shooting with my kids on my back. It is like, Challenge. it's awesome. It's like trust, the, trust your float, because yeah. it's going to float. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Kitty Cat is... I think the guy was 92 and a half from there. Yeah, I need to have him put that back together and get the right mods. So the, when you say wrong mods, they're for a different bow? 
they, that's what came with my phase four. Oh, and when we put my phase four, we took these mods that were on here off, put on my phase four, and then I put my phase four mods on here. Yeah. I don't even know what those mods are. The draw link, they're pound, like. Oh. I want to shoot that one yeah. more time. Hey, what? Well, if you're gonna if you're gonna send some more, I'm gonna have them put my bow back together. This mod is not the right length for my draw length. Oh, it's you're totally saying off. It's not, this is a, this is an E. When we got my new bow, my phase four, those weren't the right mods. Oh. We pulled these mods off of this bow and put on my phase four. So the phase four is good Phase four go. is good to go. And then you slapped on the wrong draw length. The wrong draw so length. So you need here. whatever, a 28 and a half. Yep. Right hand, 75. Yep. 80% let off. Yep. Go go buy some mods. Just the wrong. And put it on the oak shape tab again. Put it on your tab. Put it on. No, that was tab. me. I was checking to see if my timing was right, and I'm holding. It. I was looking. And at I looked at him and, and I, I said, and "Dude, I, I wouldn't I do that if you, because I was looking from the side. My view, your strings are. I'm like, you're gonna derail that. I've been and then working I, out. I was like, yeah. You're dumb. <laughs> go get some new mods right real quick. Walk of shame. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Hold still. Left again. It's a little steeper on that bear. 18 and a half to the bear. Okay, yeah, so kind of like an 18 and a half pitch. We, we come out here to this hill to check our third axis. Like I did it in my bow shop and did it with the door jam. And it looks like I am trending right on my downhill shots and Drew is trending left on his downhill shots. So we're gonna go flip it and shoot some steep uphill shots, same degree, 18 and a half, and then we should trend the opposite. So I should be kind of shooting more to the left and Drew should be shooting more to the right. And if that's the case, we gotta make an adjustment. Fortunately for Drew, he's got a black gold. That's the easiest thing to adjust. Yes, sir. Me, I gotta dick around with loosen one, tighten one, but on that one, I'm like, bro, you're gonna derail and then derail. So that's a good way to derail your bow. I think he put the wrong draw length on or something. I don't know. Two points, like right about here. I'll do something like that. If you do something like that, you're gonna double lung that bear. And if this bear is slightly quartering away and you go like this, that bear is gonna go 10 yards, 20 yards tops. Bears are crazy, they're vitals. I hope the boys know that when we go to Canada, eh? How far is it? 95. Oh God, here we go again. Ooh, sun's right in the eyes. Oh great. Hold still, sis. Low. There you go, that looked money. Okay. That was sick. Okay, you see the moose? I'm gonna shoot the moose. You might want to unscrew it. I got a lot of vectors that I like. I may run vector this year. We'll see. Really? Yeah. Are they fairly new? I haven't heard of them. Yeah, they're fairly new. So Drew and I are gonna elk hunt together this year, which is the funniest thing to say because that really means Drew and I are signing up to be each other's pack horses. Like Drew don't like to hunt with nobody. I don't either. Um, Probably not gonna film a lot of my stuff this next year. Y'all don't watch the videos anyways enough for me to warrant having a cameraman and it's a pain in the butt. Plus I think Jake actually wants to elk hunt this year, so. Yeah, I'm excited. You bring anybody else? I don't think so. Me neither. Okay. You wanna go August 30th? Yeah, I, um, you know, unless I draw another tag that warrants going. Warrants going yeah. earlier to the other place and, and going there later. Me <laughs> Why isn't he bringing his phase four? Why is it at my house? Why isn't he shooting it? Does he have it dialed? Yeah, it's all set up. Ready he just keeps leaving at my house and I'm like, start charging him rent. Those iron wheel broadheads <clears throat> that you used, you used those this year on what, a bear and your deer, right? Oh, did you shoot an elk with your iron wheel too? I shot an elk. I shot that New Mexico bull twice. Okay, are they stainless? They look stainless. So that doesn't affect you. See, mine are not stainless. So 
like we got just hammered with the rain. Same day you shot your elk in the rain, I shot my elk in the rain. Yeah. Well, that day, what, did it rain like an inch or two? It was insane. So these tight spots have those holes and yeah. they fill up with water. And, and if you don't have a stainless broadhead, you'll rust. Yeah. You're back in business? What mods did you get? Did you take any practice shots? Nope. It's like you're you gonna take that. one right here. You got that big D mod energy going? Big D mod. Oh, it's windy. 64. This year it rained a ton. We were elk hunting and water can collect in the bottom of your quiver. Yeah, especially your tight spots. If you guys run tight spots, they have these open concept. The rubber holds them really well, but inside of that is a void and it'll just fill up with water. And if you're not shooting stainless steel broadheads, which I don't, I shoot cutthroats, which I love, but they're not stainless. That will fill up with water and rust your broadhead. So what you got to do is take a caulk gun and 100% silicone and inject it into each one of those arrow holder holes to take out all the the air void and then your broadhead will just sit in silicone, dried silicone, and it won't rust, it won't collect water. Guys, so today was uh, interesting. We finished up at a 120 something and we told Drew wrong information. You, we're like, oh no, you're shooting under, roll deeper. And I think he put all four arrows over the move. So he's looking for his, oh, That's Ted nice. Nugent, Nugent arrow. <laughs> Nugent arrow, did you guys see that? Check this out, the Nuge was here. Uh, Jake. <laughs> I think you dodged a bullet. I look back, you got your bow pulled back, no arrow in it, and you're like looking at it. Inspecting, and checking and, timing. And I'm like, bro, that is not a good idea. And next thing I know, I don't see it, but I hear the string come off. I derailed my bow. Derailed your bow. Is it as bad as dry firing? No, no, no. Exactly. Okay, so Tim's still bad. Derailing that isn't that bad as long as like you keep all your fingers. You derail and lose a finger, that'd be bad. But you jammed in and got the right mods. You were Yeah. You just had the wrong mods? So when we built my phase four, we switched mods and I haven't shot my V3X since. And it's shooting way low left, so something was way off. So I was inspecting it, looking at it, trying to check the time and see what was going on, and I derailed it. So don't don't do that. That's bad. Um, but I need to get sighted in because that's going to be my backup bow. But you got mods, 80% 80, 80 let off? Yep. 75 pounds? Yep. And that's your backup bow? Backup bow. Maybe you want to like actually shoot your phase four? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we appreciate you. We need your subscriptions. That's what I'm calling it. We need your subs. Road to 100K. We can't do it without you. Get out there. Go chip the rust off. Find some friends. Talk some smack. Send got some arrows. <laughs> we got another one. We'll catch you on the next one.